I think one of the most frustrating things uh, for handicapped golfers out there is wasting shots having covered the distance of the, ho of the hole in a couple of shots. So imagine you're playing a par four, you hit a pretty good tee shot, you hit a pretty decent second shot, maybe the green's out of range, it's a long par four, and it leaves you a, a fairly short wedge shot into the green. And, and from that point you take the wedge, you maybe miss the green, hit it in a bunker, take a, a shot or two to get out there, knock it on the green, two, three putts later, you're walking off the green having made six or seven, potentially, and walking to the next tee having hit a couple of good shots. So for me, if you're a, a sort of a mid to high handicap golfer, one of the most uh, effective ways to improve your game is, is to think about the game in these terms. If you never missed a green ever again from say 75 yards and in, and you never three putted for the rest of your life, imagine what your handicap would be. And I'd suggest that if you're a sort of a, a mid to, to high handicap golfer, the answer to that would probably be significantly less than your current handicap. So I'm gonna to look today at a impact position for hitting that approach shot into the green, be it with a, a, a mid iron or even a, a longer iron, but particularly with short irons and wedges. To give you an opportunity, if you hit a couple of decent shots down a long hole, you want to make sure that the next shot you hit guarantees that you pull the potter out of the bag. So if you're good from short range, you're gonna save shots. You're gonna arrive on the green one shot earlier. So one of the most common grips that I see out there, and, and I tend not to, in these videos, spend too much attention on, on the grip because it's a very individual thing and I don't believe that you should ever try to change your grip without supervision. But if you're a player who, when you look down at the club handle, you find that your bottom hand, your non-glove hand, if you like, is underneath the shaft and you've got a position where the, the bottom hand is turned for a right-handed player around to the right so that your palm is in an upward position, that is gonna make it very difficult for you to stably, solidly present the club into impact at the golf ball. That grip position, particularly with short irons, creates a very powerful position for allowing the club head to try and scoop and lift the ball up in the air. And that position in a, in a short game shot or a uh, medium to longer length pitching environment is very, very dangerous. It produces a, a variety of miss hits, most notably thin shots and fat shots. So in order to present the club in the correct fashion, we're looking to have a shaft, which as we strike the ball, is leaning slightly towards the target. Okay, so as you are striking the ball, it's going to feel like you're taking a couple of degrees of loft away from the club. Now that is the most effective way, shaft position, for you to hit slightly down on the ball. And remember, for an iron shot, we're looking for the most part to hit at least three or four degrees down, some occasions maybe even a little more than that, but, but certainly three or four degrees downwards into the ground. So to do that, we've got to have a shaft position that's forward, and that becomes very difficult with a, a bottom hand which is turned way underneath the shaft. So the most natural hand and wrist position for hitting downwards, if I do it without a club, is one where my wrist is slightly hinged back on itself. And you can see there that the palm of the hand is in a more of a downward facing position rather than a upward facing position. So if you're a a strong grip or a strong bottom hand player and you're struggling with accuracy striking the ball consistently you need to take a look at that bottom hand grip so that you can present the shaft in a better position so if you're looking at that kind of grip and, and struggle with those clubs I'd really suggest you, that you get some help on a one-to-one -one basis for that but how does it affect your impact position once we've achieved that well you can see I've got a, a line in the ground here uh, an alignment rod stuck up in there and that slightly forward tilt represents the position that I'd be trying to replicate with the club shaft at impact my weight is going to be on my lead side my target leg and I'm going to hit down and through the shot now you can combine that wrist position the palm looking slightly more downwards and match that up with a shaft position which feels like it's leaning forwards rather than backwards a weight transfer onto your target leg 
you're going to strike the ball much more solidly, much more consistently, and you're going to hit the target, having hit those couple of good shots down the fairway, you're going to make your approach shot uh, much more accurate, you're going to hit the target a lot more often, and that's going to save you potentially four or five shots around.